Good morning, folks. This is a pretty good way to start. Tenth straight appearance of the multi-line resonance anomaly here on the induction magnetometer. Starting every day at 1400 UTC, strongest near zero hertz and builds upward, most visible here on the BZ component. Its constant punctuality suggests an unnatural source. Then again, the Earth does rotate fairly regularly on a 24-hour schedule. The mystery continues. It is not the ionospheric heater doing this. And again, it doesn't start and stop at sunrise in Gakona, Alaska either. It's not stopping geomagnetic storms as we found out this weekend. And yesterday we learned it's not stopping big quakes. The mystery just continues. No mystery here. You remember just 20 days ago, New Mexico declared the worst wildfire in state history? Well, yesterday, the Colorado wildfires were given a similar distinction. This is a terrific article on the flaws of the standard model. For those who are brand new here or just don't pay attention, we believe the electric model is much better. Search the Thunderbolts project for a start. Last two articles, methane and CO2. You guys might know the first one is my bigger concern. I've talked about it a lot, but there's interplay between them. A few moderate quakes of note right in the middle of the Mediterranean is unusual. Whenever the Atlantic Ridge starts shaking, especially down south, global activity could rise. Now a mega typhoon is bearing down on Japan. Tokyo is 12 hours from a direct hit. You can see two storms here and yes, the second one is just right behind, set to hit Taiwan today and follow right behind to Japan after that. We had another day of elevated cosmic ray bombardment. The bigger blue circles show this and at the center horizontal line of the chart, they are most significant. Along the same line of thought, you remember we had a gamma ray burst from Aquila yesterday, but we had another one right next door in the same constellation, back to back blasts. Solar wind, the orange is the density coming down from this weekend CME remnants, but the yellow, the speed, spikes to near 600 kilometers per second, and that's too fast to be nothing. Well, there was actually a tiny corona hole that passed center disk two days earlier. This wind stream didn't last long, it's over already. If you watch right down here, you will see we had a filament eruption yesterday. We have many more thin, dark filaments on the sun right now. The one in the center almost looks coronal holish. Don't forget yesterday we showed you this filament eruption. NASA does not track some filament eruptions for some reason, but I expect this to hit us tomorrow. It is a new moon today, nice little lineup before the solstice tomorrow. I just hopped outside, it's 5.30 a.m. and these guys are gorgeous. That's the news folks, be safe.